Hey, welcome. It's Coach DJ Davis again. We're excited today, as always, because we have another edition of Playmakers brought to you in part by the Just Run the Play Company and also Riverport Creative Group Incorporated. We have some exciting news today. We have none other than Collins Wade with us. Most of you know Collins. I've been knowing Collins for I'm probably about a thousand years, <laughs> and uh, we, we we grew up together. But he's doing a lot of major things. Uh, in the world of youth development and also uh, life building skills. Uh, so today we're going to talk with Collins Wade. Collins, man, good to have you with us. Good today. to have you, bro. Thank you. Thank <laughs> now, you. Now, for man, like I told, man, look, we've been knowing each other for probably since we was able to even understand and how to talk, how to speak. Right. Uh, grew up in the same neighborhood, and and long as I've been knowing Collins, which people who know him call him Lonzo. So. Uh, <laughs> But I've been knowing him for so long, and every time that I get a chance to speak with him, we're talking about things that we can do to build a youth up, build a community up. Right. And it doesn't surprise me uh, that you're here with us today to talk about uh, your current project that you're working on, which you are the project manager for the uh, Faith and uh, Hope Youth Project, which yes, is sir. based here locally. Uh, give, give us a little bit about what's going on with that and how you get involved, and just. Just tell us everything that we want to know and that you want us to know about this particular project. Well, man, it's it's one of those things that I've always been in my spirit that, uh, you know, when we was growing up, it took a village to raise a child, not just one individual. Right. And so I kind of take that um, that mindset and, and kind of run with it sometimes whenever I get ready to do some things. And with this youth project, you know, it was teaching the basic life skills. Sometimes we forget about how to shake somebody's hand and look them directly in the eye to give oh, yeah. them their respect. Oh, yeah. um, or it's balancing a checkbook. You know, a lot of times people forget that we don't get a, to learn those lessons in school because we learn so many other things. Mm -hmm. And so with, with, this, with this program, we are willing to show these youth and the parents, not just, just helping the youth, but also helping the parents, okay. how to parent them a little bit differently and better and so they can get a better understanding of how to deal with their child and then let them know that they're not alone. But I also get the youth to, to the point to believe that they can reach anything. They could do anything that they put their mind to, but it's okay. up to them. Okay. It's not just, you know, we are just sitting out here saying we just trying to make a difference. We are actually making a difference. So the thing is, if, if you want to see your child change, it's not going to happen overnight. But if you want to see, it, see them change, just put them around people who, want, who, who they look up to, who can mentor them, who can inspire them, and you will see that change happen. Well, now from what I'm what I'm reading and what you know we've talked about over the past few weeks because this is a uh, fairly new pro uh, project that, right. that's just that's on the ground floor and it's building up and you've been out uh, I know because you came and even talked to me over at, uh, at the school about you know how you can come in and help now from what I'm seeing some of these life skill building programs you have uh, transitioning into adulthood uh, self help being able to socialize with people, right. uh, even some of the adaptive skills and employment. Um, why do you think at this particular time in our society, uh, these type of skills are more important now than probably have than they ever been? Oh uh, man, well to me, I, I feel like we are, as a society, we have gotten away from those particular skills. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore by, like, like I said, you know, as we was growing up, we had you know, grandmas who was able to teach us certain things and how to be respectful. And I think our society is getting away from that. We are that instant gratification society now, so everybody want to write in and now. But with teaching people these life skills and teaching the youth these life skills, we are able to, I could say, you are able to go back to your old roots sometimes uh -huh, uh -huh. and be able to, so they can better pass this on down the line to their kids. And, you know, that's one of the things that we want to do. Well, you, you, you talk about, you know, you know, it takes a village. I mean, it, it reminds me, you talk about grandma. Anybody that know me know that I was a, a grandma kid. Right. Uh, and, and I can remember days that we would be in the neighborhood doing things that we probably wasn't supposed to. Right. Back then, it didn't matter who found you doing wrong. They had the ability to chastise you, correct you. And then they would go back to the house and tell what you've done. Right. You know, so, <laughs> and, and I think you're correct. You know, we've, we've gotten away from that, that structure in which, 
you know, I think that this is a great idea because I see here even if it says that if you're struggling with you, I mean, and y'all actually work with them from all I me mean, from young as one, two, three, four years old all the way up to age 22, uh, runaways, uh, reckless behavior. I'm, I'm seeing some of the things that you guys are doing. Uh, some even homicidal threats. Y'all right. have the ability to work with these particular kind of situations. Right. Uh, wh where y'all, I mean, right now y'all in Monroe? Yeah, we are located on 200 Washington Street in Suite 1A in Monroe. Okay. But we also have a building that we're moving to on Stubbs Avenue. That's a little bit bigger than the office we're in right now. So when, when the kids come in, the, the parents come in, they have a bigger room if we need to do something different with them in a different room uh, to get the children to uh, the, uh, the parents to see a video or something. Now, now we have the, the space and the capacity to house that and do those things. Okay, now let's let's say if, if 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 I'm a parent and I have some concerns with uh with my child, you know, with multiple referrals, uh, suspension, dealing with law enforcement in a negative way, uh, and and I've reached out to you guys and, and find out more about this program, uh, is there an application? Is there a cost? Uh, I mean, is there some? What what would be my commitment as a parent? Well, your commitment as a parent is I mean, it's no cost. It's, oh, okay. Um, okay. It's okay. no cost at all. Um, but you just reach out by calling our office at 388-6808 and ask for myself or you can ask just to be referred to the youth department. You can leave me a message and when I get in the office, I'll give you a, um, a call back. But we also have an application that is, you know, circling around that you can fill out. And then uh, the process of going through referral is that a lot of people don't know that Medicaid pays for these things. So oh, if your okay, child is okay. having these issues, you if you have Medicaid, they actually pay for those behavior health issues that you're dealing with your child. And so the thing is, like I said, it's, it's pretty much giving that child that one-on-one -on -one time and being able to see what they're dealing with and actually helping them get to the next level in their life. Because a lot of people, everybody got dreams, so everybody want to reach their dreams. Oh, yeah. But a lot of times uh, we get, you know, we always say it's a, it's a brick wall right there, but it's no longer a brick wall. It's just a fence. You can still see your dream. You just got to keep going for it. Oh man, that, look, that's, I've never looked at it that way. That's <laughs> that's that's a, some major information right there because I think uh, what we have right here, ladies and gentlemen, is an opportunity uh, for in, anyone, like say between, I mean, youngest one or two through three years old, all the way up to age 22. Uh, if you feel like your child, or even as an, as a young adult, 19, 20, 21, that you need help, you're, you're facing some challenges. We all have challenges, and, and sometimes it's all about having somebody or, or something there to assist us or maybe guide us in the right direction. Right. There's, there are several different programs that are out there throughout this region that, that involve youth, uh, because with me being in education, uh, you know, college, I get a chance to uh, see some of the programs that are coming in and out. Right. There's never too many. In, in, never my, too in many. my opinion, there's never too many uh, programs, especially when it's time to uh, deal and, and try to cater to the youth because, like everybody say, that's the future. Right. Uh, now, a lot of people have had an opportunity, and one of the things that uh, what we're doing here at uh, Just Run the Play, uh, we're, we're getting ready to uh, reintroduce my book. My book is uh, it's called Just Run the Play. Uh, it's pretty much the playbook for playmakers. Right. And one of the things we talk about in the book, uh, Play Six, we talk about the importance of making yourself available. Uh, and, and what I want to know from you, uh, Collins, is that, you know, how has making yourself available uh, been influential in your life? What, what has that done for you? Because a lot of people that are watching right now uh, don't feel like they may have all the tools or the equipment or the mindset to be of an assistant, but sometimes it's all about just being there. Right. What, what, what can I do to help? Just making yourself available. How has that influenced you? How has that uh, catered to some of the stuff that you've been doing throughout your life? Well, I mean, the whole thing is, that, man, when I was growing up, a lot of people don't know, I actually started working with youth when I was 15. And <laughs> so you were youth working with youth? Yeah. I you. uh, so, but it was somebody along the way that made they safe available to give me uh, some encouraging words or mentor me down the line or show me some things. And, you know, I, I, I a guy named Dean Lee, he actually uh, touched me when I moved to Kansas, and he actually took me, like, individually. Like, man, I'm going to teach you little, some things in life like I was his son. Wow. And okay. for those things that, that he taught me, I became a different individual from the college point. 
Collins Wade or Zoe, as most people call me. Right, yeah. And so when he showed me some things and taught me some things, I was able to come back and give to somebody else. And so by me doing that, I, I, no matter how busy I get, no matter how many times you run away from your gift, God bring you right back to it. And the thing is, is that when God brought me back to it, he was just saying, I don't need all your time. I just need some of your time. So I just started taking individual kids and individuals that I could give a kind word to or some encouraging words to. And sometimes, man, it was just a little push. And, they, and that's all it took. So it, it's about you just taking that time and taking that the initiative to say, I just want to give back. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that, like, I just not only do this, I do several other things, but, like, you know, with, with the situation that's going on now in our community, mm -hmm. um, I end up going out and just doing something else different. And it wasn't, by me doing something the night before, I encouraged other people to do something the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it's just, it's just by that personality and, and things that you want to give back and how you want to give back. It's just making yourself available to give back. Well, as, as we get ready, and, 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 it, and it's made you say that because it, it, it transitions or it segues me right to, to uh, what we're about to do as far as getting ready to close. Um, making yourself available, and then, like you say, it's just that one push, that one thing that you can do that you, you and there are a lot of people right now that are watching, somebody right now watching. Right. Uh, and I know this just, just through conversation with people and just through the spirit uh, that are trying to figure out, you know, they're in that transition. They, they, right. they know there's something that they're supposed to be doing. Uh, they feel like they're supposed to be doing something bigger than what they're doing. Right. But they hadn't made that step yet. I don't know, you know, it could be fear. It could be, you know, uh, you know lack of self-confidence. Uh, as we get ready to close and shut down, uh, give the audience that that one thing that you feel would be that, 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 that motivational word or that thing that'll help that one. It's one person watching that needs that one thing to know what it's going to take for them to move that next step. Well, it, it's funny how you say that one thing because it's never just one thing. But I, I could start off by giving you this. If you, if you wake up in the morning and you pray to God and just to start your day out, but then also start off with some positive affirmation, talking about yourself, build yourself up first before you go ahead and build someone else up. And then once you do that, once you're able to... to routinely do that on a daily basis you turn around and you go out and bless somebody on purpose bless somebody on purpose and that's what i do daily and look you heard it here collins wade he's the project manager for the faith and hope youth project if you're interested in finding out more about the, this particular project and how it can help you your family your child uh the information will be on the screen um do not hesitate to get in contact with us at JustRunThePlay.com. We'll be glad to forward the information over and get you in contact with Collins Wade, my man, Collins Wade. Thanks for having me, man. brother. Man, we appreciate <laughs> you being on, man. That was a lot of good information. It, it, it even encouraged me and inspired me, man, just to continue to do what we're doing, and it gives me that, that, that extra motivation to continue to do this Playmaker, man, because what we do here at Playmaker, our goal is to shine light on people like Collins who's doing big things in the community. If you know a playmaker and you feel like they need to be on our showcase, contact us at justrunthaplay.com. We appreciate you being on. Thanks again. See you, everybody.